Hello and welcome to Cricket House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I will put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. Fish here is due to age up. He has about one day, so I believe he should be aging up at around 6 p.m., uh, which means he's going to have to find himself a lady and go off and make another tribe because he can't stay here. So right now he's meditating. Whoa. He's having a hard time. He's pretty miserable. He's thinking about the fire that happened on his birthday a while ago when he was a child. I am going to send him off to sleep. He's pretty tired. He's thinking about his sister growing up so fast. And Rock's coming home. Rock's pretty hungry, tired, and smelly. We're going to have him get some leftovers. Flint's pretty dirty, so he's just washing his hands really quickly. He wants to have some fun. He's energized. I'm going to have him do some push-ups and some sit-ups. But I'm going to send him off to bed too. Ilsa's sleeping, so none of the adults need to be awake. It's not giving him any fun, it's actually bringing his fun down. He's thinking about the fire too. Recently the air caught on fire. Somebody was cooking over the campfire. Yeah, the air caught on fire. Rock here is eating some food. I'm gonna have him clean up the dirty dishes. And then I'm gonna just have him wash up before he goes to sleep as well. So I'm gonna fast forward this part. Isle's feeling depressed. He got word that the Hermit of Granite Falls has recently passed away. She wants to eat a wild plant, but there's really no wild plants to eat. She's gonna cry <sighs> it out though, see if she can, yeah. Because she's in mourning for the Hermit of Granite Falls. She didn't know him well, but he did teach her some herbal tricks. <laughs> Prash, Amudio. You are really Bilibu. strong. You can Vimbara get over this. I know your friend has passed away, Amudio. but oh, how am I going to get along? Who will teach me herbal recipes? Quofi? Well, I I taught a couple Seba herbal recipes to myself Nahu. without anybody helping. Uh, I'll take a deep breath Ife? and I'll feel better. Yeah, she's. A little bit better. She's still in mourning for about two days. She wanted to water some plants with her tears, so we'll do that. <laughs> so she's watering the plants with her tears. I'm gonna have her harvest while she's over here. Oh, there's Fatia over there. Tia Boxhead. Isle's working through her grief by working on her gardening. She really likes gardening, so she's <laughs> hoping that working on helping things grow and live will help her get over the <laughs> death of her friend, the Hermit of Granite Falls. She's feeling really energized now. So working on the plants has made her sort of overcome the immense weight of the grief. And she ages up in about eight days. She's really, she really enjoys fitness. And she wants to do some sit-ups, so I'll have her do some sit-ups again. There she goes, doing her sit-ups. She's pretty healthy for a Stone Age lady. You know, she's had lots of children and she hasn't died yet, so that's saying something for her, the fact that she's healthy. Because having a child is not easy. There's no guarantee that you're going to live when you have a child. There's so much that goes on. So childbirth is not something to be taken lightly. Uh, well, that overcoming the grief was short-lived. I'm going to have her paint a sad painting and maybe that will help her get over her grief a little bit faster. So he's getting some food he cooked the other day. He's trying to build up his cooking skills because he is going to have to go off and be in a different tribe. He can't stay here forever with his mother and his father. He has to go off and make his own tribe. Uh, he's coming over to talk to her. She's painting another hermit hut. I'm so sad. How are you doing, mother? I'm growing up today. I'll be leaving soon. I'm ready to get on with this game of life. Aren't you excited? Uh -huh. for me. This food is so good. 
She's just into this painting. She can't be thinking about her son right now. <laughs> yep, she didn't even answer him. He doesn't really see that she's depressed. He's just thinking about himself. She's thinking about all the colors in the Shut world. Me. What can I choose since I have all the colors in the world to pick from to paint in this painting? And he's thinking he's going to put that leaf on the ground, but I'm just going to tell him no. You can clean that up, sir. He's not really happy that she didn't even respond. He's not really loving mom right now. She doesn't really care because she's really trying to get over her own grief and her own feelings. Janib Shrafa, the bows spillerve. I don't have time for you. I I'm trying to deal with my grief. He's like, well, fine, I'll go wash this. Flint's pretty good. I'm gonna see if he can resume this mirror. Supposedly he can make bathtubs, but I'm not. Oh, here we go. He can make a bathtub. Have him make a bathtub because it would be nice that they don't have to go all the way up on the hill. I have decided I will make a big container hmm. that we can fill water, soak in it, so we don't have to walk all the way up to the waterfall. I really could go for a hot drink right now. I'm feeling so sad. My, my mentor died, and now I have no one to teach me anything. You know, at least mm. when yeah, I would see him, we would please. have hot drinks. Uh, so having a hot Flurry? drink right now would really soothe me. Yeah. Rock is going through a phase. He's going through a mean streak. There it was very sweet of you to cook some of that food. Mishi Oba. Let me just tell you a funny ooh, ooh. story Heart about the these garments uh, that have the little red hearts on Abin. them. The dinosaurs the chased uh, the uh, Stone Age uh, people uh, for them. Because they look like food. Oh, huh. oh, he's sick. He only made enough fish on a stick for himself. She's gonna make boiling frog hot pot. <laughs> Never seen that no recipe. Dream. Stressed out, so he stopped doing his bathtub making, and he decided to come over here and do yoga. But then he realized, you know, we really need a bathtub, so I'm gonna go back and craft that. Ilsa's eating her fish, and she's gonna talk to her mother. <laughs> I really wish I knew oh, about grilled yeah, cheese. Yeah. People talk about this mythical food, but I don't even know what it is. Maybe the nature spirits eat it, Mommy. You know all about the nature spirits. Maybe you could ask them. Flint is really stressed out, and he can't seem to focus on making this bathtub. So he is going to come over here and grab some of that frog hot pot to that. I'll just made. Ilsa's gonna play with her monster toys. Maybe that will cheer her up because the food she just ate that fish cooked was just so bad. Isle and Flint are gonna sit down and eat, eat this boiling hot pot. She's thinking about all the vegetables that she put in it. He's thinking about himself. Flint is gonna complain about his problems. Cause he's got a lot of them today. I am so tired of always building things on that woodworking rock. Why don't you do something about it? I'm what do you so think I've been doing? I've been birthing day. babies and feeding them, and my friend died, and this is no game when somebody dies. You seem short. to think my life is all fun and games. It's not. <laughs> now he's feeling better. He's feeling energized. Amphibian agility. So, eating those frogs made him feel a whole lot better. There is a fire! I don't even know why there's a fire. There's a fire over here in the air again. Looks like somebody started the campfire when I wasn't looking. Putting it out. Rock jumped out of bed. He heard the fire roaring outside of the hut, and he was afraid that it was going to catch the hut on fire. Ooh, here's Og. I don't think he's ever met Og. He can go introduce himself to Og. Hi. Rock thinks that Og looks to be responsible. It's really nice to meet you. I know your mother, Isle. I think I remember when she was pregnant with you. You were like the sun shining on a gloomy day. There were some guards that came along when there was a fire and are almost burnt our hut down. But I jumped out of bed before the guards came to put the fire out, and I saved the day. Seems like he's impressing Og. Flint is doing pretty well with this. This is scared because it sounds like there's a, like there's a thunderstorm going on in the wintertime here on the island. <laughs> so Ilsa is mad that she was just thrown around after she ate. She's feeling sick, feeling upset about the thunderstorm. 
She's scared and mad and depressed. I'm gonna fight with you because you're making it rain and I'm upset. I don't need you helping me. Reminding me of the box heads your mother always talks about. Don't be a box head. Oh my goodness, my my thing I don't have just turned inside out. Don't yell at me. I was trying to cheer you up. Oh, I'm so cold. Ilsa is over here talking to Og, who she doesn't know. Finally, you know, playing out here in the storm. It's really dangerous. Back. Storms are not anything to play yeah, in. You can wind. slip in the, the mud and back. really hurt yourself. We bought good to all. Doll Bay. Then the Jay. guards would come Whips, and look to see you hurt you, and they would find that you just hurt yourself. <laughs> look at my toy. It's a monster that lives in Granite Falls. It's the king of the monsters. It put a sword in the stone. It can fight dragons and unicorns. Yeah, Flint got struck by lightning. He's dazed. I wonder if he can go lay down. <laughs> I've napped that off. She's getting pretty tired. Isle's going to read little Ilsa to bed. So her child really should be out of school. Fish is over here with his feet in the water during a lightning storm. Is there a lot of fighting out there in the world? We live? No, there's not a lot of fighting. It's only me and my two children where I live. You really have to find an area where there's nobody, and then you never have to worry about any fighting. And then you just. It's just me and myself and my two kids. You know, I can fight with myself, but what would I accomplish? I don't want to fight with my children, they're just children. Yeah, they wouldn't really put up a good fight. If those llamas come out of the forest, then I'm really in trouble. They can steal my children. Isle is telling Ilsa a story so she can go to sleep Be out in the storm. But she's not feeling so good. She's feeling sort of feverish. She's having a rough day. Maybe there was a fox, and when the foxes run around, it makes a sound in the sky that sounds like thunder. Do you hear the foxes running around over your head? Do not worry. Fox. Oh, oh, but I'm scared. Oh, no fig. I really should just go to bed. It's been a bad day for me. Hogs decided to go swimming in the thunderstorm. Do you think that's really smart to be swimming in the middle of a lightning storm, Og? Oh. oh, if you died, I'd be really upset. Don't don't get struck by lightning, Og. He's jogging and trying to jog his energy off. He's thinking about what am I doing out here in a thunderstorm? This isn't really smart of me. I'm really, really wet. Why am I running around in this storm? Maybe I should clean this up. This pile of debris has been here for quite some time. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean up this pile of trash. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but perhaps I'll cut my hand on it. Oh, he's over near the waterfall, so I can have him go take a shower in the waterfall. Since he's over here now. And Rock is actually cooking something that I didn't tell him to cook. That looks like he's cooking hamburgers, which don't exist yet. So, uh, so he's cooking frog patties or something. He's getting pretty dirty. He's reached cooking level two, so whenever he leaves, he'll have some cooking under his belt. So he's going to eat these hamburgers. How's Flint doing? Flint doing any better from being struck by lightning? 46 minutes and he'll be better. I'm gonna quickly wash his hands because the rain is gathering in the rock. Rock's doing pretty good. He, he's eating a good meal. And he's feeling pretty fearless. <laughs> a little cold, but fearless. He's still sparking from being struck by lightning. <laughs> seem to be cleaning him off that much. There's trash all over the ground. Why is there always trash on our is very Maybe the sun will come out and ah, shine chill, away chill. the trash, Father. That's not how it works, Sonia. So we'll have to pick it up and throw it down in the room. 
I thought we taught you about that. He's really scared. Look at him. He's terrified. Fish is cold. He's coming back to camp. He just showered in the waterfall, but he's tired. So he's going to go to sleep. So Flint is terrified, but he's doing yoga to try to calm down because he feels that, you know, yoga usually calms him down. Oh, so maybe doing yoga in the middle of a thunderstorm would calm him down. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything for him. He is getting some fun from it. I don't know how this yoga is working for him. He's still pretty terrified. I could send him out to fish. Yeah, because fishing in a thunderstorm is always a good thing. He does still need to get level 10 in fishing. He only has level 8. He walks over here trying to build up his <laughs> speaking ability, his charisma. Because perhaps he'll be Bad the head news. of his tribe Weibo. someday. There's <laughs> a strange gas smell. He doesn't know what that is. Feeling very good about things that are going on around the camp. Flint is pretty scared. But, uh, uh, he's fishing. Looks like he's going to get level 9 fishing in a couple of minutes. She's going to invite over the green women so that her son can choose a mate. Looks like the green women are over here weeding the gardening patch for Isles. That is part of the green women tasks. Isles just evolved the quality of her lemon Ooh. tree. Sarpava. I'm going to have him scope his surroundings because perhaps he'll find which lady he thinks is the best. I was hoping that the younger girls would show up, but it looks like only the older girls have shown up. <laughs> oh, Skimbo! Arbo Vinia Quad! What do you think about the galaxy? Yeah, I really like them. He's Nia has just become. Good friends with Fish, and Fish has learned that Nea is a woohoo lover. Uh, I've been working out, so if the dinosaurs come Vinegar, out of the forest tablet, towards the house, huh? I can Hibanai. run away, Source and they won't spa? get me. Woo. That's a great idea. I think I'll make a painting, I oh. says. So I hear that thing. you're growing up today. Do you oh, really fine. like Crow, or do Definitely. you really like me? Yeah. I really like huh? to work uh -huh. out. Ooh. So Ooh. whichever like one it. of you ladies likes muscles, Ooh. I like you. Loonies. I Kelsey. like muscles. Perhaps you like me. Oh, I like to sing as well. Oh. So Fish hasn't quite grown up yet. He was hoping that the younger ladies would show up to the to the land, but none of them have. So he doesn't really have uh, a way of judging which of the ladies he really wants to settle down with. So his choices right now are limited. He only has the three elder women to choose from. Perhaps a little bit later in the day, the younger woman will show up and he can make a better decision. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Symbilis tribe on their journey through the Stone Age. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.